So guys, aside from everything going on from the vehicle production side and the preparation for the RoboTaxi launch, there is a storm brewing on the battery front. And over the next couple of months, there are going to be a ton of improvements that we have never seen before. Earlier this year, it was confirmed that Tesla has been collaborating with Catho and LG to develop the next generation battery cells designed for their upcoming vehicles. Catho has been developing enhanced LFP cells tailored for the local markets while also expanding into the international markets. These new LFP cells offer higher energy density and improved power output, making them suitable across all trims from the base models all the way up to the performance variants. Meanwhile, LG has been making significant progress with their latest 2170 cells, which have entered production and are now being shipped to Tesla's Gigafactory to be used on the latest Model Y Junipers. And at the same time, they are also developing the next generation 4680 batteries, which are comparable to Tesla's very own cells currently being produced at Giga Texas. In early March, at the Inter Battery 2025 event, LG showcased its lineup of 46 series cylindrical batteries, including the 4680s, 4695s, and 46120s. These new cells offer at least five times the energy capacity and output of the current 2170 cells positioning them as a major advancement in the cylindrical battery market. LG has already begun production of these new batteries in Korea with the additional manufacturing set to begin at its Arizona factory in the US and production at the Nanjing plant in China also expected to commence in the coming months. Now more importantly, as Tesla as their primary customers, LG plans to prioritize shipment of these new advanced cells to the Tesla Gigafactories ensuring a stable supply for future vehicle production. Now, what's particularly interesting about this development is that there has been rumors of a super long range version of the Model Y that packs a humongous 95 kilowatt hour battery into this pack, and it's gonna bring it up to 400 plus miles of range. The three main competitors right now in this space with the 4680 cells are Tesla, LG, and Catho, with the latter two really pushing it for the advancement and research and development. These are going to be the new cells that they are going to be partnering with Tesla and they are going to be pushing the limits of what the upcoming ranges of battery are going to look like. Just this week, Catho has just announced two major developments, the launch of its new sodium battery called Nextra and the second generation of its ultra fast charging battery for electric vehicles. According to Catho, the latest Sen Sing battery can add up to 520 kilometers or 323 miles of range with just 5 minutes of charging. It boasts an energy density of 175 watt hour per kilogram, approaching the 185 watt hour per kilogram performance of the lithium ion phosphate, the LFP batteries widely used in all EVs today. Catho has said in a statement that they have achieved a breakthrough not only in terms of energy density and cost, but also a new way for environmental protection. The company also emphasized the battery performance in cold climates, demonstrating that it can be charged from 5% up to 80% in just 15 minutes at negative 10 degrees, showcasing its ultra-fast charging capabilities even in freezing temperatures. Catho further highlighted developments of its sodium ion technology. The Nextra cell is said to offer improved thermal stability over conventional lithium ion based batteries. Additionally, Catho teased us with a dual power battery system that could provide electric vehicles with a range of up to 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles. The company stated that Nextra will enter mass production by late December this year. Meanwhile, on Tesla's side, the company continues to refine its 4680 battery technology. Tesla's senior director of the 4680 battery cell program commented in a recent interview stating that they have not yet found the fundamental process speed limit for the drying process that they are still pushing that speed limit until they find the breaking point. This suggests that Tesla is still exploring the full potential of its dry coating electrode manufacturing process which is central to the scaling up of the 4680 battery production efficiently. So yeah, there we have it guys. This year is not simply going to be focused on robotics and autonomy. This year is also going to be pushing out a ton of new vehicles as well as the battery advancements, bringing ranges that we have never seen before. And this is really the core of the entire EV experience. Now what we're really hoping to see here is pushing the limits of the battery, at least the minimum of 400 miles on a full charge. This is gonna be the golden standard moving forward and every EV 
at the minimum basis on the base trims are going to come up with an EPA range of 400 miles. It might be a little bit less in terms of true real world driving, but the fact that it has hit that threshold really means that every other trim, every other model moving forward is going to show all the capabilities that battery has to offer. Now aside from the 4680 advancements that it's going to be coming later down the year with production now already beginning, they are also pushing out a ton of new other cell technology that are rolling into cars right now and some of them by later in the next couple of weeks. LG has just started rolling out their second generation 2170 cells that are being shipped to Gigafactories right now. Catho has been rolling out their brand new second generation LFP packs that are much more energy dense and Intesa themselves are now working on the development and production of the NC cells. These are the new cells, the NC05s, NC15s and NC20. All of them are going to be bringing a noticeable battery improvement in the current cell technology. If you want to know more about that, I will drop a link in the description below and probably up top there as well. You guys can go watch that video and then come back here and comment down below. Is it worth waiting for or would you rather just jump directly to the 4680 once those are made available? Anyways, this is just a quick one on the battery front. There is a lot more that I want to share with you guys. I would love it if you stick around. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, that bell notification so I can keep you guys as up to date as possible on everything that comes out. And if you have the chance, head over to X and follow me over there at Hey John E. You guys will find things and see things you wouldn't see over here. And you guys can chat with me anytime and I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. This should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.